Hello guys, it's Richard again from Remarks Farms. So I just arrived at a farm. Uh, we're just praying and hoping that the sun will be up and shining. So that's all this behind me. All this behind me, as you can see. I just turn the camera so that you can appreciate the farms. All this. will be cleared in the shortest possible time will be bent I'm sorry so we are hoping to bend all this when the sun shines a little two three days of sun shining we can burn all this and hopefully uh, after that then we'll have to make sure we pick all the residues the logs that will be on the farm We'll pick it out and then uh, we'll make the land very plain. And then we can start planting our grass, the brachia grass that I keep talking about. We already have the seed available and so we'll clear the land. Make sure the land plain with the ground showing. And then we will start planting. We're hoping that in few weeks time the grass will sprout and be ready for transplants in actual fact we are trying trying to start the planting before september and so even as i'm standing here the, the sun won't give us the, the the chance the rain won't give us a chance every time the rain is falling i don't know how it is in your region I'm in the western north region of Ghana and it's almost always raining here. If it doesn't rain, it drizzles. And so that is the only challenge we are facing uh, over here. And we are hoping that uh, the sun will come up and that we can move on. So I'll just move on and show you some of the things we are doing. So for now, we are just using the local staffs that are available to do the fencing. So, uh, as you can see over there, you see the bamboo tree. Uh, so, I've had some guys come over and then they are working on the bamboo tree. We are going to use the bamboo tree for the fencing in the interim. We will use that for the fencing. We have some log there. With that too. So, what is there? Let me just draw closer so you can see over there. So, we are just using the sticks that are around. The thing is that when you are starting a business, you don't have enough funds to start with. Just you can use just what is available in your area. And that will be more uh, beneficial and cost effective. Then as you move on and the business progresses, then you can move on to the chain link or even the walls. So today is just a short, another short video. Uh, let me just take you a little to a little tour around the farm. Okay. so you can see what is behind me so this fortunately for me uh, is for the community and so if this is completed then I can tap water from here for the animals to feed on to drink from sorry so they are making a lot of mistakes I don't know why I think I'm under some pressure even as I'm speaking the rain is drizzling it's drizzling here it's a huge challenge for us. It's about one acre land. And then we are just hoping that things will just be in place quickly so we can start this as quickly as possible. Okay, so it's a vast land. It's just one acre. Uh, it's not that big, but hey, it's one acre. And so we are going to try and utilize what we have over here. Okay. So I'll just walk about and then show you the perimeter of the place and then we'll see how it goes so let's move so see the boundaries so we're going to put some um, boundaries there so that in the near future that doesn't create a problem for us just walking about 
you have some logs if you know goats they love to scratch their bodies against wood and so this over here can serve us that's for that purpose okay it can help the goats they will just come and then just scratch themselves against it there are so many of them here many of which will regrow very soon and so you see pretty much this has been done already this is all dry up you just need some few uh, days of sunshine and then we can bend this but it's still a huge challenge the rain won't give us the chance to do this and so those who are very prayerful I think this is the time you should help a brother pray <laughs> for sunshine and western of especially my area where I am so it goes all the way there and then to the far end there I'm just trying to walk over so that we appreciate the size so over here, I don't know what a plot is in your area, how much is measured. But over here, it is 80 by 100. That's one plot. And so one acre here, that's times four. So you can just imagine. So it is raining here. I'm sorry I have to go. And guys, I'll see you later in the later videos. So we have logs here. All this will bend if the sun will shine, if the sun will shine, okay? So let me just zoom in so that you will just appreciate. And so all this place in the near future, this will be the place we will build some structures here for the workers to stay. And then we'll plant the brachyria all over up to the other end. Where the goats can feed and like i told you that if you are doing if you are doing zero grazing like we want to do on intensive form of farming land or their feed is very important if you are unable to secure their feed then you are out of business because you'll be forced to sell your animals, which is not good for business. See, but if you are in this for long term, you need to plan for your feed. And so, Sir Richard, how about if I don't have even a one acre land? If I have two plots, one plot, can I still do goat farming? Yes, you can still do goat farming. Okay, just make sure. Uh, you get a feed Fortunately, like I said in the earlier video goats feed on virtually everything Just get your feed All around and then you feed them It's just about a feed 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 and of course goats need shelter For instance, it's raining here. It's, it's drizzling And so if the goats were here we expect that they would just get a shelter because goats hate water they hate it they simply just hate it it's not as if if rain beats them they become sick or anything but they just don't like rain and so you have to do everything as much as possible to shield them from rain and so they need a shelter you need a piece of land to house them and then however you are going to get a feed it's up to you it's up to you but if you are in this thing for commercial reasons then you have to make sure that if you can if you can purchase the land just hire the land and then plant their feed on it okay and that's so important i can't stress on the feed enough okay so it is very very important that we get the feed ready before the animals come don't rush and get the animals on the on the land where you have not made provisions for their feed Otherwise, you end up buying feed, which can cost you a lot. It can cost you a lot. 
hey guys you can put in the description box below how much a goat costs in your area i'll be i'll be very interested to know in my area a goat goes for about thousand cities as a local goats uh, uh, about 25 kg goats goes for about 20 thousand uh, uh, a thousand Ghana cities see now imagine you having a goat that you want to even sell for a thousand cities a 25 or 30 kg goat that you want to sell for a thousand Ghana cities and then upon bringing them to your farm buying it from another farmer bringing those goats to your farm you spend a lot buying feed for those goats if you don't take care and you sell the same goods for a thousand cities, you might not make any profit. Because you spent a lot feeding them, buying their feed and all that. And so that is why I keep stressing that their feed is very important. If you have a problem or you don't know which type of feed to give them, I recommend Brachyra grass to you. Uh, if you know Sementia Farms, I got mine from Sementia Farms. But if you don't have their contacts, you can contact me and then we'll see how we can contact them. And then uh, we'll get yours to you. So this is where I leave you today. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next episode. If you have any questions, uh, put your questions and your comments in the description link below. And then we are going to respond to you as quickly as possible. See you guys later.